Today we are going to be making cinnamon ornaments. This is something I used to make as a small child with my mom. It should be fairly simple, I think, because it only involves two ingredients. It's uh, a large amount of cinnamon and applesauce. I probably won't need this much, but it was just cheaper to get the big one. Um, I don't have measurements though, so <laughs> since there's only two ingredients, I'm thinking it should be simple enough. And uh, let's hope, <laughs> at least. But yeah, I think we're supposed to just eyeball it and have just a crap ton of cinnamon in there. A little bit of applesauce. And we'll see how these come out. And I'm hoping to bring back some nostalgia for myself. But um, yeah, let's just crack right into it. Trying a new setup, so we'll see how this goes. But first we're gonna just, oh my gosh, this applesauce. Maybe open this applesauce at some point in time. Whew. Okay, we got there. Um, I'm just gonna guesstimate on how much we need of each thing. Not fully sure. We'll start small. And then open up some cinnamon. So I used to make this as a small child with my mom. So because of that, it wasn't really me making it. It was just me watching her, watching her make it. And I just kind of did nothing. But yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Be careful with the cinnamon. Oh my God. <laughs> Um, it will make you choke when it's <laughs> floating in the air. <laughs> okay, as you can see, this is going to involve, kind of think I'm going to want like a spatula that's rubber and not a metal spoon. Hold on, guys. This is all I got that's a rubber. <laughs> so this will have to do. It works better than a spoon for now, at least. So the main premise behind this is just making this into dough form. That's all you're trying to do. Technically, as you can see, this is edible. I would not recommend at all eating this. It will be disgusting and you might joke on it. But yeah, I remember my mom telling me when we were kids, she made them. And after you make them, you have to let them sit out and just like dry on their own. And she was doing that. They were sitting on the counter and drying. But my mom, she uh, she cooks a lot. So my dad came home and she was on the phone one day. And uh, he saw them. They looked just like some delicious little gingerbread cookies. And he just went at it. <laughs> She's like waving them down in the background on the phone. But he's not paying attention. He ate them. And, uh, yeah, she, when she hung up, she was like, how was that? And his, his only response was, well, they're not as good as your, your usual cookies, <laughs> which good for him. That was a pretty good response. <laughs> but yeah. Then after when she told him their, their ornaments, he started panicking because he thought it wasn't, he was going to like be poisoned by something, <laughs> but no, he was fine. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more cinnamon, as you saw. I'm, I f honestly don't remember the type of dough texture that um, my mom used to have these in. But that one, it just looked a little bit on the wet side, so. I don't know. Obviously workable. I feel like if I add more cinnamon, have it not too wet, it'll dry faster, I'm hoping. I'm not doing a huge batch either, just because, like, this is a... The first batch I've made as an adult, so <laughs> we're going to keep it small, and then down the road, bigger batches can be made, but we'll keep this small. Let's see. Oh, I should take, take the jewelry off, guys. All right. It is. You can hold it, which is, I think, a good sign. I don't know. I feel like this might be good. It holds its shape. Honestly, I think I might go with this. It might, uh, 
I kind of want to make a bigger batch now because this is only going to make one, maybe two cookies. Like, I'm going to call them cookies. They're not ornaments. Because, <laughs> you know, you want to, you're going to need to flatten them out a little bit. E I don't know. All right, I'm going to just do a little bit more. And we're just going to go with my hands this time. This might have been a bad choice. Just going in freehand. That's that. Yeah, now it's getting real messy. <laughs> oh well. It doesn't feel bad. This actually feels like a good dough texture, personally. It will get rather messy, so be prepared for that. And like, you're gonna want to do more than what I just did. This is not a very big batch. This is probably only gonna make like two ornaments if I'm lucky. But that's okay. I'll make more later. All right, I'm just rolling out a little bit of parchment paper onto the counter. But then I can use this to flatten it and it won't stick to anything. Get this out of the way. You could definitely use a rolling pin for this. There's like, that would honestly make sense. But since there's such a small amount, I'm just gonna like hand pet it out. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's, you know, you're not, no one's eating this, so it's fine. You don't want to make them too thin. That is one thing you definitely want to keep an eye on. Just because uh, if they're too thin, they will break. Because once they're dried out, they definitely get a little bit more brittle. And you also, <laughs> this is going to make it more difficult. You don't want it too thick either, because it's going to take forever and a year to dry out. Typically, I think these take about a couple days to dry. Yeah, see? It should fairly peel off of the paper fairly simply. You don't, like, no spray or anything is needed. I just grabbed two random cookie cutters. I got a star and a Christmas tree. I might even be able to fit a third, actually. Do the Christmas tree there. Star right there. Let's see if we can get a third. Will this one fit? Kind of. All right, this is a squirrel. <laughs> don't know where I got that one, but I like it. Now we got a Christmas tree, star, squirrel. You know, it's not complicated. We're pretty much just making cookies. Just don't eat them. I'm going to peel the rest away, more or less. If they come out looking a little sloppy, it's fine. It's no biggie. Especially since, like, even if they come out looking a little sloppy, Honestly, they'll still do the job because the, they're ornaments for one and they smell good. So they'll make your room or wherever they're at smell super amazing because it's just crap ton of cinnamon. So and that smells like the holidays. Who doesn't like that? <laughs> so yeah, I'll make them sometimes as ornaments and other times I'll make them for... Or, I plan on making, I haven't actually made, my mom made these for this different stuff, so I'm going to do the same. Um, for like, if she ever has like a wreath or just around the house in general, like she puts greenery in her windowsills. And sometimes she'll pop a few of these just as another decoration in the windowsill. Um, and it helps the room smell nice, so yeah. Win-win, really. And it's, um... All natural stuff like you know it's just cinnamon and apples also if you're trying to keep like your room smelling good but in a natural way I would recommend this is kind of a good way to do that all right and I even actually with excess have enough to do a couple more so that's working out let's do another Christmas tree that one's a little on the thick side but that's fine And, I don't know, we can probably fit one more. Probably the star. I think that may be the smallest one. 
getting a little sticky now that I'm working with it for a bit, but actually, honestly, it hasn't even been that long. This whole thing, and I've gotten, what we're going to have, five cook, uh, cookies, once again, five ornaments out of this, and excess, we could probably just make it into a ball, and you, well, that won't look very cute, it'll look a little, like a little poopy thing, because <laughs> it's just, yeah, that's exactly what it looks like, so maybe you can sculpt it into something, I don't know. We'll try doing that, actually. I'll do that right now. Let's, uh, what do we want to make? I don't even know. Um, a diamond? I'm trying to keep it simple here. Okay, it's not very festive because it's just a diamond, but it did the job. Yeah, you know, it's not perfect, but it worked. And this took all of, I don't know, what, what's the time? Less than 10 minutes. So this is a great project to do with anyone, like kids especially. The kids love it. Like, obviously, I know I did it as a child. So, yeah. And if you have a straw, that would be ideal for this scenario. I do not currently have a straw or Whatever straws I have are, like, reusable ones, so they're a little on the big side. So I'm going to use a toothpick. If you want to make them to ornaments, you have to put the hole in now. So just kind of, you know, just do that. So then you can string some, like, ribbon or whatever through it. Uh, if you don't plan on using them as ornaments and they're just, like, going throughout the house, obviously you don't have to do this part. Squirrel makes me nervous. I don't really know where to put the rib the, the hole, like... Through the head feels wrong. Um, I don't know. Maybe the tail? Seems like a fragile... Sp oh, God. Yeah, we're going to do the tail. I just feel bad putting it through his head. It just seems wrong. So, it actually didn't take nearly as much stuff as I thought. Like, I bought this size container. What size is it? Uh, like a 7-ounce container of cinnamon. I didn't even need close to half of it, so, and I got six ornaments out of it, I guess you could say. And this massive jug of applesauce, I think I just three, took like three scoops out of it, so that was, that. I, I, you definitely don't need that much applesauce. Um, you could honestly just get the little snack pack cups if that's what you have in your house already. That would work just fine. But... Here they are. Um, they're going to take, you got to let them sit. I just leave them on the counter somewhere. Hang on, let me, let me look at you. Okay. <laughs> You're going to want to let them dry for a while. Uh, I, I don't know how long, so I'll come back and show you, give you an update on what they look like, how, how they turned out once they're dried. It's just, uh, I don't know how long, so I'll let you know when that happens. I'm thinking one to two days. I could be way off on that though. So we'll find out and I'll check back in with you. For you guys, it will be like a second. For me, it'll be days from now. It has been way longer for me than the two days that I said it was going to be when I to check in. But in the end of the grand scheme of things, it did only take about two, maybe three days max to fully dry for these ornaments. And here they are. I already put like string. Well, technically it's raffia. But yeah, I strung them up. They're all cute. There's the squirrel. Very cute. Um, they smell absolutely amazing throughout the drying process. The whole house smelled great. Well, my tiny apartment smelled great. I love them. But yeah, uh, a friend at work actually told me that her mom used to make these. And she would paint on top of them. These super pretty, intricate paintings. So... That might be something I want to try in the future, and you guys should try maybe too. But for now, I'm definitely going to be hanging these up on the tree or randomly throughout the apartment. And oops, I dropped one. It's fine though. <laughs> um, they will hopefully keep smelling amazing. In the past, whenever I had these as a kid, I think they smelled for like years. You would still smell like they would, the smell would diminish a little bit, but overall, it would 
smell for so long. Uh, but yeah, that's how they turned out. Uh, yeah, like I said, two or three days on the counter and they're good to go. Maybe flip them. I would recommend flip them occasionally just so like they dry faster, you know, I don't know. But yeah, it worked out well. Uh, and this was a fun project. Definitely gonna be making more. Uh, I hope you guys try it. It's definitely worth the small amount of struggle. Like there, there's no effort really in these. It's so easy. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And please, please, please like and subscribe and leave a comment if you plan on doing this or you want to or if you're gonna paint them and what shapes you're gonna do. I would love to hear from you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.